Hi and welcome to this presentation Coherence 3.7 Indexing Improvements. My name is Charlie Helen. I'm a principal member of technical staff at Oracle. So I'm going to talk today about the index memory overhead metric that we added to 3.7 and also some of the metrics that we added to queries in 3.7. So to start off, uh, a short description of what indexes are in coherence. Uh, because coherence is a distributed system where data is stored uh, evenly on a number of uh, storage nodes, it's uh, important to understand that the indexes are stored in combination with data that they represent. And they provide a way to look up a key by the value. The value uh, we keep in the object format uh, such that it's easy to uh, compare with the filter. Uh, indexes are resolved by an extractor uh, so the filter help help us identify which index to use. So when, when you pass in a filter to, for the query, we will uh, use that to figure out which index we we should use. The major reason why to use an index is that it improves the query performance significantly. Uh, the only drawback about indexes are that they have an additional memory overhead associated. For 3.7, we also added a number of metrics uh, in regards of queries. So we added the metrics for total execution time, number of executed queries, and the average execution time. So we divided th this up into two groups, uh, non-optimized and optimized queries, where the non-optimized queries are queries that have one or more filter that doesn't match an index. We also added a an attribute uh, with the top top offender query, and lastly, we added metrics for concurrent modifications, which is while a query is executing, there's under undergoing concurrent modifications made, which causes retries. So I'm going to do a short demo of this. So first off, uh, I bring up the example. I made a small modification. I added a query that doesn't have a index defined for it. Uh, so we can see what that looks like. So let me start off by starting a cache node. Well, when that's running, I'm going to start the example now, which will start off by populating the, the cache with data. Connect to the storage node, and we'll see under the storage manager, have all the new attributes that we added. So we see that we have max query description is the is the query with the maximum duration time. We have the its duration in milliseconds. We have a threshold for this uh, topmost offender so that we can filter out shorter running queries but uh, I guess most of our queries today is going to be shorter running, so I'm going to set this down to a, a smaller number. Uh, we have the average duration, we have the count of queries, and we have the total duration, non-optimized and optimized. And lastly, we have the contention count, which is the uh, number of times and a query had to be retried because of underlying 
uh, underlying concurrent modifications. Um, it's not a complete retry, it's going to be a partial retry. So if I go back, press the key to define the ind indexes. So they're defined. So if I refresh, I'm going to see the indexes. And here we see the uh, metrics that we added for the footprint. Uh, we see the unit uh, for the footprint is always in bytes. So for, for the age extractor, we see that the footprint is only 640 bytes, uh, but that's So, let's run a query. So we see here an example of an optimized query uh, that scanned through all the entries. Uh, we only had 177 matches. We see the query that, that was used. And we see the total duration of this query. So 19 milliseconds, we see that it also updated uh, the, the optimized because this is a, an optimized query and it runs using indexes only. So we're going to run more examples and lastly we're going to run our non-optimized one. And in this case we see that uh, we we performed a non-optimized query against the entire set of entries and it performed a full scan meaning that it had to deserialize data and, and, and verify uh, each proper the, the property in the extractor by by iteration so and the resulting number of matches was 2485 and the total duration was 165 milliseconds which is significantly higher. We see that we performed nine optimized queries which is what we expected and one non-optimized. So that's all I had today.